Whether you like him or not, Brendan Schaub is genuinely inspirational. Here's a guy clearly born with severe learning difficulties, compounded by extreme brain damage from blunt force trauma, who has overcome some of his challenges and found a way to make it all work. The man is a legend in his own redacted way, and he has so many flaws that I've lost count at this point. One of those flaws is constantly contradicting himself. This man will say one thing and not even five seconds later, say the exact opposite. It's like he doesn't even know what he's talking about most of the time. It must be so blissful to be so dumb and unaware. If you want to further support people with disabilities, please be sure to subscribe to this channel because I lose a few IQ points every time I make a Baba video. With that being said, let's get this show on the road. The first clip I have for you is Brain Dumb talking about Andrew Schultz's podcast studio, saying how he's overcomplicated it. Then, not even 10 seconds later, fanning his own flaps by saying his own podcast studio is high production and a monster. You know, Schultz, his new studio is ridiculous, put all this money into it and it's like state of the art and Ron goes, oh, you've complicated you may, you've done too much like this is this is not how it's supposed to be and the, i bet they thought he was gonna come in like oh this is nice but you know rogan but you know rogan right he sounds like a little kid talking about his dad like but you know dad right b he's like what are you doing it's too much you're like wait what you well, know rogan's just like oh you've overcomplicated it like podcasts shouldn't be he's there right a few moments later look at like your mom's house with segura that thing is highly produced it's a mini tv show massive yeah you look at king of the sting king of the sting dude yeah, that's a i would say it's the same production level as like part of my take on espn that thing's a monster how the fuck is this too complicated but not this rogan's studio literally looks like satan's asshole and i get that rogan has the most successful podcast but that doesn't mean he's an authority on everything and actually has rogi even gone on brenda's podcast he might have gone a long time ago but at least not in the last few years maybe it's because brain dumps podcast studio isn't as high end as he thinks it is like please explain to me how a background that looks like there's piss stains on a towel bathroom wall with cardboard cutouts of a rat and a wasp classified as next level production oh Papa, never change. So this next clip, you might have already seen it. It's made the rounds because it perfectly showcases how Brain Dumps says one thing and then completely contradicts himself in a few seconds. Here's the thing. People with fast cars, especially big guys with dope cars, the one thing people do, how do you fit in that thing? It's like, oh, that's your takeaway from this dope ass car? Jeez, I can't believe you fit in that thing. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's the takeaway, huh? Twin turbo Lamborghini, Aventador. Mm, just uh, oh, that's not Aventador. That's the smaller one. I, I can't. Again, it's not even hating on big guys in uh, sports cars. I just can't, um, I can't believe he fits in there. Contradiction. Bapa's always talking about how he's a car guy. Like, dude, you having expensive cars doesn't make you a car guy. And one thing I do want to talk about here for a second. People always mention that I'm jealous of Mr. Schlob. I can confidently say that that's an incorrect assessment. However, I will admit that one thing I am jealous of is this fucking Neanderthal getting to daily a GT2 RS. That's how you know that the world isn't fair. Alright, so this next clip is Brenda scoffing at Joe for vaping and then doing a complete 180. You're too much crap. I think Hold on, more are you vaping? Now than are you before. vaping? Yeah. Like, I don't even know you anymore, dude. You are driving a Tesla? Oh, that's tobacco. Yeah. All right. Well, so it's like grape flavor. I don't know if it's like you vape tobacco. Like I, I smoke do. weed. I, I yeah. vape tobacco. I vape up. Right. Right. I like vape. Your head rush. Like, I got addicted to it. Hold on, more are you vaping? Now than are you vaping? Yeah. I like vape. Your head rush. I got addicted to it. He literally went from, how dare you vape, to, oh yeah, I vape too. In fact, I'm addicted to it. Oh, Bobski, always trying to impress Rogan. It's just so funny watching him doing a 180 as soon as he's confronted with a different opinion. Like in this next clip where he gets called out, and it's hilarious to see his face as he doesn't try to lie at all. Have you guys seen Scissor Bros? I have. I don't believe you. Yeah, yeah. please don't. We put uh, and no, I, I, no, I no, appreciate no, it. No, when I say I have, means I see the post on. Like, just look at his face. He has the facial expression of a child. It doesn't help that he usually has pretty redacted takes, and to compound that, he's not smart enough to back it up. Like in this next clip, Papa says one thing, and then as soon as he is asked to explain his opinion, he does a complete 180. So, yeah. so question, question. If we, if you, if you measure toughness, you're talking sports here. Yeah. If you measure toughness, what sport would you say produces the toughest guys? This is force. Here's why NHL doesn't count. They're all white guys. Okay? It's like, <laughs> like when white you tell guys me they're missing teeth, though. I mean, that's like I know, legit. But, they're on, but they're on ice and they're in Canada. That's all there is to do. Is baseball? It NHL at the top or you put NFL at the top? NHL, what do you say? No, I, I'll agree. N NHL, NHL, they're pretty fucking tough. Okay. Hold up. Here's, here's why NHL doesn't count. They're all white guys. Wait a minute. I'll agree. In NHL, they're pretty fucking tough. Something ain't right. You know that everyone around him is thinking, what is up with this guy? 
Like it's fascinating watching people in real time being baffled at Brenda's stupidness. But that's the beauty of Bop Up. It's his redactedness that brings us all together. No matter our differences, we can all come together and laugh at Brain Dumb. So if you enjoyed this video, if you had a giggle or a gaffe, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You're saying the Madness. three of us wouldn't be better than the judges oh. they have? Are you shitting me? No, we wouldn't. I have no idea. Yeah, I, I can't tell you. I got thick skin, man. I've been in the game a long ass time. Do your fans like you? You specifically. They just they think do. he's cocky, football player. And I do think that if people saw the shit you do behind the scenes, they'd be like, oh. oh. I got a little pee pee on my pants. The drip, but it was a little, more than drip. That's what happens. My dick would fall yeah, off. Yeah, it's uncomfortable. Yeah. You can't tell you these got, jeans, though. Yeah, but there is a little bit of a stain, isn't there? I mean, you can't really tell. I can from here. Oh, I you can, can tell from here. Definitely that. tell. Yeah. Independence, freedom. Other men are actually going the opposite direction. Can, I just... Turn their dicks off. Oh, you nasty-ass bastard! You fucking nasty-ass motherfucker! That's nasty, man! But here's the thing. It's dicey, because you're rolling the dice.